stellar, superb, game changing. These are just some of the words that describe today's chief and principal researcher event. My name is Kauhelo Dioga and I am absolutely thrilled to be your guest presenter for this epic episode of CSIR Connect. And my next guest on this epic episode of CSIR Connect is Andile Mabindisa, who is the Group Executive for Human Capital and Communications here at the CSIR. Mr. Mabindisa, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you, Hakele. Now, the CSIR has been recognizing chief and principal researchers for, for many years now. So what informed the move to have a recognition event this time around? Hello, it's a, it's a number of things. Um, so first, it's um, in terms of our strategy. Um, as part of the strategy, right, uh, we said we needed to have an employee value proposition. And part of that employee value proposition is about recognizing our employees. So that's the first one. Then the second one, we've been on a journey, right, uh, as a CSIR. So if I were to compare 2017, so that's when our CEO started here, and compare it right to today. Um, in 2017, we had um, 19 chief researchers, and in between, we then had, had a, a restructuring uh, process. Our numbers went down, so. We then invested, so we had two uh, uh, programs that we put in. One is the Accelerated Research and Development uh, Program, the ARDP program. But over and above that, we then said, let's also recognize those managers who are active uh, in research. And we are now seeing the results, and guess what? So we now have 19 chief researchers. So we've, um, the number is the same as that of, uh, of 2017. But what is important is that we now have a strong pipeline, right, and will surpass right, the 2017 uh, number. And if also we look at the, the principal researchers as well, so same thing happened, um, and in terms of the numbers for principal researchers, we are short right, uh, of 13. We are now sitting at 204 principal researchers. But again, the pipeline is very strong. But also, over and above that, EXCO has made a decision that we need right, to introduce a principal researcher development uh, program. So this will strengthen right, the pipeline through the investment right, uh, that, we pay, that we make right, through the principal research and development program. So that's the second one. The third one, it's about celebrating the transformation. So going back to 2017, we had no black South African chief researchers. We had few black South African principal researchers. We now are celebrating uh, black South African chief researchers. And also, we've surpassed the number of black South African chief uh, principal researchers that we had right in 2017. Thank you so much. I, I really, really like how this particular recognition ceremony is really centered around um, transformation and really speaks to the CSIR positioning itself as an employee of choice. And thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Mavindis. Thank you, you're welcome. And now I'm joined by Chief Researcher, Dr. Moses Cho from the Advanced Food and Agricultural Cluster. Dr. Cho, a very warm welcome to today's episode of CSIR Connect. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, this marks the pinnacle of your career. What does this mean to you? Uh, 
it's it just means everything you know it it's i've come a long way and you know there is uh, an old african proverb which says you know it takes a community to raise a child i i want to say i'm i'm one of you know those african children who has really come a long way and everybody from my parents my wife my kids my colleagues here at the CSIR have all contributed to this and I'm just so excited about it and uh, yeah you know it, it gives me that leverage to, to be able to you know uh, uh, build on, 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 on creating impact and, 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 and really changing society which is which is what uh, motivates me. That's, wow, that's absolutely brilliant. And let's talk about changing society. How do you foresee this recognition enabling you to make those changes in society? Mom, it opened doors. It, I mean, uh, being a chief research, researcher at the CSIR, it's, it's quite an achievement. And it's, 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 a, it's a position that is well recognized within the country. You know, it, 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 it creates you know, that room for you to, to talk to uh, authorities, to talk to you know the business, uh, the industry, uh, to be able to interact with, with colleagues in, in you know in different institutions, and 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 that really opens uh, doors, I, I would say, and uh, I'm really excited about that, and I look forward to uh, you know creating more impact, uh, you know for what I do, which is uh, precision agriculture. We look forward to digitizing. The, the, the agri sector in, in the country, you know, the world is, go, is going digital and, 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 and what I'm currently doing is, you know, trying to create that impact within the small scale and emerging farming sector, which means uh, black uh, farmers uh, who have been left uh, behind uh, would, would benefit from what we do and, and, you know, being a chief researcher just makes that a lot more easy. Wow. Thank you so much, Dr. Chu. I cannot wait to see that impact unfold. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Joining me now is Principal Researcher Heidi van Dierfenter from Smart Places. Heidi, a very warm welcome to you on today's episode of CSIR Connect. Ah, thank you so much, Jorgelo. I really appreciate being here. Now, it is said that with great reward comes great responsibility. What does this sort of recognition mean to you? I think the recognition means it validates to me for the hard work and the effort and, and discipline I had to attain these skills and master these, these abilities. And also to, to all, everybody that supported me from family, friends, colleagues and mentors. So it's a recognition to a society. And it means to me that I want to give back to that society in enabling them reaching their potential but also just live life to the maximum and keep on dreaming. Let's talk about, you know, impacting society in, in that manner. I mean, how, because now you've got this, you know, new promotion, how are you going to use that to distinguish yourself in your uh, field of expertise? I, I still have a dream that I keep my feet on the ground and impacting local communities, where it's also expanding geographically across South Africa and maybe into SADC in the technology that we use to look at our wetland ecosystem types, which is our most threatened ecosystem types in South Africa, but also globally. And then lastly, reaching further up globally, also looking at the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, SDG 6 and 15, and influence the reporting that we can do from countries to those wetland ecosystem indicators and targets. Those are brilliant goals, Heidi, and I have no doubt that you will achieve each and every one of them. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Joining me now is newly appointed principal researcher Bolelang Sibolla from the Next Generation Enterprises and Institutions Cluster. Bolelang, a very warm welcome to CSIR Connect. Thank you, Khawelo. Thank you for having me. You're absolutely welcome. Now, it is said that with great reward comes great responsibility. How are you planning to use this particular promotion to distinguish yourself in your field of expertise? First of all, I would like to say I'm very excited about this new journey, this new chapter in my career. And I would like to use this opportunity to further the work that we do at NGEI and bring it all the way into the rest of Africa. Um, we work mostly in marine sciences and developing special information systems. 
And it's, as we know, that everything happens somewhere. So place is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. So we've had quite a lot of success in the South African context, but we realize that there are further problems in Africa. So my biggest challenge now is to take the work that we have been doing here into the rest of Africa. That is so brilliant. Now, what do you have to say to those who are currently in the pipeline to follow suit in your footsteps? To motivate them? I would say, at first, it's not very easy. You find yourself alone a lot. But I would tell them not to give up, to reach out, to make friends, to reach out to their mentors and to never stop learning. That is the only thing that they can do to succeed. Thank you so much, Pulelang. Thank you. And this brings us to the end of this week's episode of CSIR Connect. A very big thank you to our guests for honoring our invite and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. Thank <laughs> you.